Okay then. So we've obtained another two more bad endings, just straight out, just two more bad endings. And I'll see if we can get Ignis's ending five. But where would we go from? So this this is when we just well did we pick Okay, I'm just gonna double check that. Okay, go together, but we'll just skip ahead to wherever it may be, because just in case I didn't save another option. There we go. You know what? This is the option I was looking for. Uh probably isn't gonna actually diverge too much, but a bit unsettling. Uh, well, you look like you were always in a haze, yet in truth you always have a sharp mind. Then be careful I do not read your mind. <laughs> what a nice quip. And we're just going to skip forward again. Unusual, yep, yeah, okay. Fast forwarding ahead. Oh no, wait, what? Okay, so it's already pitch dark. I should have brought a lamp. I don't want to think what would happen if I ran into Ty at this hour. Uh, at this hour, Ty murdered someone. So, yeah, so nothing bad happens. I better hurry back. Oh? Hey, it's Greta. Was that Greta? I wonder if she's coming back from doing the rounds. Maybe I should offer her. Maybe I should offer to accompany her on the way back. Ah, well, this is a new location. Well, I've never seen you at a place like this before. What on earth are you thinking? Haha, <laughs> Greta, who's she, who's she talking to? To Enviro. That girl, was she the doll that Ignis made? Enviro, I thought colour was the extent of your goal. You are not thinking about going after people in here, are you? I shan't let the people of this island die. In this world, even those who devour carnivorous beasts are a necessity. You are treating them like cattle. Oh, but they are your cattle, are they not? I just happened to be passing through. I wanted to have another quick look at that colour of his. Ignis seems oddly concerned about him, so I got worried he might be scheming something. Worried? You? Yeah, right. Right indeed. There are no lies in my words. I can barely contain myself waiting, so I wanted a quick look. Are you keeping Chester right now? Are you not? Chester? What does she mean by keeping, anyway? Oh, hang on a second. Ah, uh, helping out the post. Anywho, uh, where was I? I can hardly wait, but I will. Go on. I can hardly wait. I will. But it is very hard to contain myself. You said his hue would grow even thicker that way, right? So I'll wait. Hue? I've got no idea what they're talking about, but it sounds like she wants Chester. You're only interested in Chester, right? Well, go ahead, consume into your heart's content. I won't stop you. <laughs> uh, they should really double check that so people aren't listening around. <laughs> I couldn't even, I couldn't even if I wanted to after all. In any case, children will grow scared if they notice you prowling around. I'd rather you didn't come to this place anymore. I understand. I'll keep my distance. I'll grant, I will grant your wish, just like all the others the best of my ability. What? Nothing. Huh. 
<sighs> Greta. Colette, what are you doing here at this hour? Actually, what are you doing here? I'm on my way back from making the rounds. What about you? I ran out of thread, so I came to get some. There was something I had to finish by tomorrow. I see. How about we head back together then? Our homes are towards the same direction anyway. Yes, that was what I wanted to offer myself. Well then, Greta. Let's go back together. <laughs> Damn it, Colette. Don't make just that face of yours. Signals no, just bad luck for anyone. Yes, indeed. The thicker the hue, the more delicious the colour. A colour worthy of Enigma. We need to learn more about this damn tree, don't we? Hmm, great weather we've got today. I wonder if rain is scarce around these parts, although I heard it rain when I washed up on the beach. That is true, it hasn't rained at all since we uh, came to this island, like in all the paths that we've taken, it hasn't rained. Chester! What have you done, Colette? What have you done? <laughs> uh, oh, Colette! Good morning, Chester! Good morning. You're, you're early. What gives? I brought you some food. Here's the breakfast and here's for lunch. Oh, wow. You even bought me lunch? Yes, I have an errand to take care of today, so I might not be home in the afternoon. Thank you for not forgetting me. Is Laurel going to be busy too? Laurel is on the other side of the mountain right now on an errand. There's a special flower growing there, growing over there that's fantastic for adding hue to fabric. Just applaud Laurel for making that trip for just his sister. Just. I wonder if that picked up. <laughs> I hope it did. <laughs> that sounds like a tough job. Ah, I've got to run myself. I will be back, Chester. Thanks, don't overwork yourself. And thanks for the food too. You're welcome. Anyway, I shall excuse myself. What has she done to Greta? She seemed different from usual. Was that just my imagination? Anyway, I better dig in. I also want to know where she keep where that other work that wax workshop was. Seriously, where was that? Is that also un is that underneath her house? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm mentally uh, preparing myself for what's about to happen. <laughs> I'm back, Greta. Sorry for making you wait. Let me take that off. I made sure Chester and Laura won't be around here today so you can speak. <sighs> what on earth are you thinking? Take this rope off. No way, you'll run away. Uh, Greta, please, tell me the truth. I don't want to be doing this myself, you know. Are you planning to feed Chester to that doll? Everyone knows that those dolls are bad news, but I never imagined they actually eat people. They are not literally eating them. It's just a figure of speech. Forget it. Forget it? Are you serious? You said that you don't care if that thing eats Chester. I said that was... And the doll said it's gonna fulfill your wish or something. What was that all about? And what do you want in exchange for giving Chester to that thing? No, I don't want anything. Then why did you... Tr why didn't you try to stop it? Because it's useless. Even if I tried. I cannot believe you. How do you know how I... You know how I feel and... At the same time, you're treating Chester like some feed for, like, hold on, yeah. You're treating Chester like some feed for those monsters. 
You're scaring me. What are the what are those dolls anyway? I didn't even think much about them till now, but what is it about this what is this about eating people? Why do those dolls exist anyway? Why do you make them? Why? Colette, listen. Why would those dolls fulfill your wishes? Could it be? Ah, I see. Now I get it. That's it, right, Greta? What answer did you come up with in your head, Colette? What was this? What answer did you come up with? Colette? You're a doll too. Oh no. Huh? Right? Haha, <laughs> it must be. I mean, you don't age at all. You cannot be human like that. I can't believe I didn't realize till now. Colette, uh, you're not acting like yourself. Now that I think about it, everyone on the island is just too strange. They say that those dolls bring bad luck, yet they don't even bat an eye at you or Ignis. And I thought we were friends. Colette, you're a wicked witch, aren't you? It's all magic, right? Evil magic. You tricked everyone and now you're even trying to murder the prince. Uh, Colette, calm down. You're acting strange. This is not like you. What are you talking about? You're the one that's strange. You always... You were always so kind to me. You always listened to everything I had to say. And behind my back, you were trying to kill the man I... Okay. I didn't want to tell you this, but Chester has contracted an incurable disease. Disease? Yes, he cannot be cured. He's dying. Oh, this is... They're not going to end well. So I... <laughs> Colette? You mean you cursed Chester to die? At uh, what? I, and I bet you tricked everyone on the island to take you in through magic too. <laughs> and I wanted to be the princess so much. I can't believe you, Greta. Colette, you're trying to destroy all of my dreams. Oh, what is she going to do? Oh, not the wax workshop. Oh, were we already there? Oh, it's the attic. Oh, yeah, because the ceiling's like sloping. Is at an angle. Ah, oh, that wouldn't make sense. That wouldn't make sense. Yeah. That all is just a weird ass basement, but I'm going with the, it's the attic because that seems more likely. No, let's roll with that. Colette, what are you? Now I've got you to be caught. Now I've got to become a hero instead. Yeah. I'm going to become a hero. I'll take care of the doll, defeat the evil witch, and save Chester. Boy, you make it sound so easy, Colette. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Colette. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why? <laughs> why? <laughs> Greta, your neck is so thin. A, a rope. Okay. You know all sorts of things, so I bet you know how to kill a witch too. C C Colette? I need to incapacitate and then burn you. But flames are really hot, right? I don't want you to suffer. So I put some weight on this. Uh, oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I guess I'm too light. Uh, wait a second. Uh, uh, what should I do? I can't tie anything heavier, but if I pull by myself, it'll only make it worse for you. Uh, Greta, you know everything, so maybe you can help me out here. <laughs> Asking the person you're about to murder to help you out in assisting in the murder. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Ah, I see. Right, that's right. You're so smart, Greta. Thanks. Okay. It's unseemly to climb on top of a table, but I've got no choice this time. 
if I hold it like this. Okay, I'm jumping. Goodbye, Greta. Hey. Oh. I know Greta can't uh, age or anything, but can if she's can she still die? Cause she's as Enigma and Ignis, uh, not Enigma, Enviro and Ignis say she's the bride. So we'll, can she die from physical injuries? No, oh, I guess we're gonna find out now. I guess so. Ouch. Ah, I scraped all the skin off my palms. Greta, how do you feel? Did it hurt? Ah, you made a mess on my floor. But I guess I can't blame you. I won't tell anyone. Don't worry. You messed up your clothes too. I guess I should change you. It's okay if I undress you, yes? Your back is so white. You always wore those thick clothes, so I guess your skin never got the chance to get sunburnt. So oh, beautiful. I'm jealous. Okay, I'm finished. I guess those are a bit too big, but they still look good on you. Anyway, let's finish this. Don't worry, it won't feel hot now. Oh, uh, she's gonna dunk her in the wax. I guess we won't know. I can smell smoke. The forest is on fire. <laughs> the last of the Turkals have has been lost. As in, she already served her purpose in any case? Yes, that's right. Her presence was of little importance at this point. I found a replacement. A girl whose vigour to live is not to be trifled with. <laughs> uh Colette. I cannot believe someone could remain like that in a place of the dead. As is as it's as though she was a baby. It's just as it's, it's just that. It's a bit more unstable than I thought. Just a bit, just a bit, just a bit more unstable. Just a, t just a bit more. He's not from the Turkal tribe. That's one thing I did not account for. But besides that, she should do fine. Just fine. And uh, she set the entire village on fire. Oh, that's a lot of things on fire. It's a fire. A fire on an island like this could mean... Hey, anyone! Oh, it's in the dead of night. If it's in the dead of night, no one's gonna survive. I can't hear a single soul. Did they run away or... I can't see anything through the smoke. I should probably take some distance myself. Ah, Chester! Colette? Chester! I'm glad you're alright, Chester. <laughs> I'm glad you're alright, Colette. I didn't get. You didn't get hurt, did you? No, no, I'm perfectly fine. I'm glad you don't seem to be hurt either, Chester. I wouldn't have known what to do with myself if I accidentally ended up killing you too. Huh? I set this place to purify the witches and dull minions from the village. Ah, I thought Laurel mentioned something about white trees not catching fire at all. Oh god. Ah, no, uh, Laurel mentioned something about white trees not being able to catch fire. Okay. I think I'll go check on that on that for a bit. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about? I wish I could have been a princess, at least in front of you. But to do that, I first have to clear all of the wicked ones from the island. I already defeated the witch, so next should be... a witch. Yes, it was Greta. She was actually trying to kill you with wicked sorcery of some sort. But it was a very close call, you know. And all this is because I said it was a bit unsettling to be... 
to with I don't know what I can't remember the context, but someone bit on settling with fakeness. All because I said that. Cool. <laughs> anyway, I thought the charm would disappear from the others of her death, but they actually attacked me when I was setting the fire. It's so sad. I didn't think they ended up cursed forever. But you know, but, but you don't need to worry about anything. Please go ahead and wait for me by the sea. I prepared a ship for us. Colette, wait. <laughs> Chester? He doesn't seem to be in the in her right mind. <laughs> really, <laughs> really, Chester. <laughs> she doesn't seem to be in her right mind. <laughs> Colette, you don't have a reason to hurt others, do you? There are no witches here, and I, and I. I'm sorry, we don't have time. It would be terrible if you got away. Colette, this fire will kill countless people. Maybe it already did. We should. Colette! Uh, Auntie! How could you? Oh, how could you do that to my son? You'll pay. I'll kill you. Calm down, Auntie. Open your eyes. This is all the witch is doing. That boy was charmed by Greta's wicked magic, so... Shut up! What did you do to that kid, Colette? Did you murder a child in cold blood? You are the witch here. We received that child after so much hardship. I thought I could finally have my blood survive. Auntie, you'll pay. I will never forgive you. Give him back. Give him back to me. Colette, run. Oh. What? G uh. Get a knife on her. See? You saw that what's going on with your own eyes now. Everyone's gone out of their minds. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Huh? Were you scared? Colour. It's alright. I'll be back in but a moment. I will protect you, Hester. I will take care of all your enemies. I'll kill and kill and kill and kill. Up until only the two of us are left. And then there will be nothing to be afraid of anymore. This is not good. I know those eyes. Those eyes are of a person too far gone. There is nothing I can do for her anymore. I've seen them enough to make my stomach turn. The eyes of a person ravaged by madness. But why? How could this happen here? I'll put an end to everything, and when I come back, we can... Haha, <laughs> maybe I'll save that for later. Right? You should take care... Uh, you should take this for now. Bloody knife, eh? A bloody knife. It's possible that you might run into a doll on your way. It would be bad if something like that ha... Hang on. It would be bad if something like that just now happened again, so keep it to protect yourself. Colette, you... I'll be on my way then, Chester. Huh? D Chester? Colette. What's wrong? Why are you doing this out of the blue? I'm, I'm embarrassed. Thank you for saving me. Eh? Thank you for your... Oh god, I get my voice... Like, the slight pitch difference I'm doing, if that's coming through. I don't think it is. <laughs> Thank you for your kindness. That, that, that wasn't anything special. Thank you for loving me. Jess... And sorry. Huh? 
Chester? Huh? There's a knife inside me? N no. What are, what are you doing? You're supposed to carry it with you for self def Colette. Esther? Colette. Uh, no, the fire is getting too intense. Oh, wow. Wow, it's a. Uh... Oh, wow. And so, the new bride has been born? Had, has she? <laughs> we destroyed the entire island. There's probably only three people alive. We got Ignis, because he's in. If the trees can't burn, he's safe. Loro, because he's on the other side of the goddamn mountains. And Chester, for a little while. And technically, in viral counts, I guess. But wow, we, he destroyed the entire island. Wow. <laughs> and then after the credits this time around. Are we going to see the aftermath of what happened? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, now we definitely are. But who's... Whose view have we taken? The Colette's alive! As the new bride, and she has a few, uh... Burn wounds on her. And that's all we're getting! <laughs> so Colette survived! I'm not even going to yay that, that's just, she's alive. <laughs> and all because we said something was a tad unsettling. Hey, we got end of five though, that's good. 